And I'm from the Nagwal Zone here. Today we are talking about stalking. Everyone's favorite topic, very popular amongst the tall tech circles, stalking. Very different perspectives and opinions about it. People think it's this and someone thinks it's that and there are arguments going on. And Don Juan said this, he said that, she said that. I will explain to you exactly what stalking is as I was taught and as I teach it. And I will also give you certain examples that will help clarify it so much. You'll never be in confusion about stalking again. Stalking is shifting your assemblage point to create for yourself consciously a different perspective or literally a different temporary reality. Temporary as meaning as long as you want it to last. And then you can revert back to your old reality or you can stay in this new perspective. Reality is a matter of perspective. It really is. So stalking has to do with willingly shifting, being a master of shifting your perspective consciously from one point to another point so that how you experience reality changes. That is stalking. Now what stalking isn't is the popular opinion about it by reading books and all these things, articles online. It's not pretending to be something you're not. It's not play acting. It's not acting. It's not even method acting. You know method acting where they really get into the role and really convince themselves that, oh, yes, yes. It's none of those things. That's not stalking. Stalking is when you become what you're stalking. Okay? So let me give you an example. Imagine that you are sitting in a car. Someone is driving you down the highway. You're sitting on the right-hand side of the car looking out of the back window. You're seeing the scenery pass by. So from that back seat view, the warrior will literally shift to the left-hand side of the window. They will shift their body to the left-hand side of the window and look at a different perspective. Same car, previously they were looking out the right-hand side of the window to a different scenery. They've shifted themselves and now they're looking out of a different window, looking at a different scenery. So far, good. Those who misunderstand stalking will stay on the same side of the window but convince themselves, pretend that they are seeing a different thing. When in reality, they're not. In reality, they're still seeing the same scenery pass by because nothing has actually changed in reality. But in their mind, ideas and concepts have taken root and they are pretending to themselves, pretty much not to the world, because we are more transparent than we think we are. They're pretending to themselves that they are stalking, they are, they are seeing a different thing going on. They, some of you may even start play acting, acting as if you are seeing a different perspective, but you're really not, you're just sitting there. S true stalking is when you actually shift yourself so that you are literally looking out another window. That is true stalking, which means that stalking is a conscious, willing movement of the assemblage point to a new perspective so that it assembles, literally assembles a new reality for you. You are seeing, experiencing, thinking, behaving, emotionalizing a new reality for yourself and that all that was willing. It wasn't done for you as fate happened or destiny or this or that. You were, it's self-determining. Stalking is self-determining. So really understand this. It's not pretending because you're just, just lying to yourself, really. It's not play acting. It's not acting out. How, no matter how convincingly you're acting out, it's none of those things. It's actually shifting your re reality as you're assembling it in each moment. Yeah? That is why I hesitate to talk about stalking because it has a lot of, for the warrior, it has a lot of prerequisites that need to be qualified in, to be educated in, before we can 
employ stalking as a gainful exercise. A lot of us, because we suffer from so much romanticism about Castaneda and the desert and the cactus and the allies, and we suffer from so much romantic Hollywood kind of images in our head about the Toltec path, it doesn't occur to us. And of course, we don't have training. We just read books and articles and takes a few, take a few weekend workshops or whatever, bang some drums and wear feathers and all that and take some, uh, you know, ayahuasca or something or the other and feel great about it. That's not Toltec. That's not the Toltec pass, right? So, we, so then what happens is that we fail to understand to the depth of things. It re really requires education and training from qualified benefactors. You can watch my video on that. I did a video on how to spot true benefactors from false ones. So stalking has prerequisites. The first one, you have to start with creating an immense, and you'd be surprised how much of it you really need, an incredibly huge amount of inner silence, accruing, like you need to become a millionaire in inner silence. So accrue, accumulate inner silence like your life depends on it, which it does in the Toltec path. That will lead you to become to slow down enough to spot your self-importance and its myriad strategies and ways. And you will start to stalk in a, in a, in a literal sense of the word, not the Toltec sense, but the dictionary meaning of stalking your prey. You will start to stalk your self-importance. You will eventually, after many years of relentless backbreaking vigilance and training. You will become an expert hunter of your own self-importance. From there, it is only a matter of time before your inner silence becomes heavy enough to loosen the human form and eventually the human form will wash away from you like flushing a toilet or something or <laughs> well, crude analogy, but or, or it will wash away from you. What a time will come, a day will come, it will wash away from you. You will have then entered a totally, radically new era in your existence from every prior existence to that point. As you, when you lose your human form, and you become literally an empty awareness, a nothingness that is. A, truly alive, all self-delusions have fallen away and seen through and they are powerless to manipulate you, you will then understand controlled folly because you will have to, it will be a survival mechanism. Controlled folly will have to be mastered after that point. You cannot do that before that point is not needed. Uh, you can understand the idea but there will be nothing functional about controlled folly for you till that point. Controlled folly, once that is functionalized and you're living controlled folly all the time, that is when you will truly understand what stalking is because there will come a point when you will be required to become a master of shifting your assemblage point at will to assemble different realities. So this is like, so that's why I hesitate talking about stalking and all these things. They're very, very advanced topics. Just because Castaneda just threw these um, terms out into his books, uh, we, we shouldn't make the mistake of thinking they're that easily accessible. They are accessible when you read a book, right? But they're not accessible as training until you reach and, uh, certain milestones and master previous things. So hopefully this clarifies what it entails for a warrior to be stalking. The average man can also stalk and be, feel really great about it. Remember, you're still sitting on the right side of the window looking out of the same perspective and thinking, you know, that self-delusion basically. So here's what to watch out for. It is easy to fall into the trap of 
sitting on the same side of the window, reading your little Castaneda book and looking at, at the same scenery for so long and wanting to become a Toltec warrior and be have the allies and the dreaming and having such a longing for it that and that we convince ourselves that we are some kind of big shot stalker now. But actually, in reality, nothing has changed. Years later, you're still sitting on the same side of the car, looking out of the same side of the window, pretending that that's not what's happening. Convinced yourself. So watch out for that. I, I see a lot of evidence of that. People comment by the people's comments. People uh, email me, um, private message me on Facebook, all these things. And I can see not see, see with the body, I can immediately see their entire, it comes with part of the training, I can see where they're at, right? And there's a lot of self-delusion, so you've got to learn to be very, very brutally honest with yourself. You've, got, you've really got to learn that, you've got to learn it. Stop deluding yourself and pretending that we are better than we really are. Just really stop that habit. Really don't let your self-importance rule the day. Get honest. Get honest with yourself, really. It'll benefit you so much. Just that one habit. Cultivating that habit of becoming honest with yourself. Brutally honest. Mm. Your quality of life will increase so much. I promise you. So when we stop deluding ourselves that... We are master stalkers. I understand all these concepts. But you're just sitting your ass on the same side of the car and looking at it and saying, you, didn't, you don't even know how to change perspectives, right? You've never done it once. You don't, you don't know what to do. Not been trained. So it's not no one's fault. It's just ignorance and self-delusion. You see what I mean? And that is why I make these videos because I don't see anyone else talking about this. I don't see anyone else calling people out and saying, oh, well, you know, you got to look deeper because this ain't it, you know? So understand the idea, the approach behind my words, and that will help to clarify a lot within you. Now, I want to leave you with stalking is very functional, and I understand in this day and age who wants to go through rigorous Toltec training for literally decades. And, and it's relentless. It's merciless. It takes no prisoners. You've got to really commit. I was taught in the old ways and by God, they are no joke. They're not for everyone. They're not for the romantics. They're not for uh, people who are happy, really deep down, just happy reading books and attending a few workshops and feeling great about that. Well and good. Good for you. But the actual training... I understand this is the age of give it to me now. I want it now. I am entitled to this. I want it right now. So I want to leave you with a functional, call it stalking light. Right? Like you have diet stalking. <laughs> call it diet stalking. If you can master this, this will create such a great quality of life for you. See it as a challenge and and, and really do it. If you really do it, I know what I'm talking about. Really. I've paid my dues for decades in, of, of hardcore training. So, here's what I want you to do. For the next 365 days, a mere blink of an eye in anyone's life. 365 days. For the next 365 days, I want you to have or cultivate this Conscious, daily, dominant thought feeling. Let's repeat that again. Conscious, daily, dominant thought feeling. Conscious means it is subservient to your decision, your choice, your will. It's conscious. It's not something that's happening to you and you're just depending on the lottery. It's conscious. You're taking charge. Daily. You don't miss a day. You don't forget about it. You don't go, oh my God, I missed a day. You don't do any of that. None of that. It's daily. Dominant. 
which means it must become 51% of your thinking time. It must take up 51% of your thinking time because anything that crosses 50% becomes the dominant force, right? So make it basically repeat this like a mad person constantly. Thought feeling means you're thinking and feeling that thing at the same time. Now here it is. It's a, it's a mantra. It's an affirmation. Call it what you like. I don't care. But it will. it has the potential to create such good quality of life for you. So here it is. I have a beautiful empowering relationship with money. 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 Yeah, sounds like a new age affirmation. It is a new age affirmation. Say what you like about it. But if you do what I'm telling you, this will create a quality of life for you that will astound and amaze you. Along the way, you will have learned a tiny bit about what true stalking really is because you'll have learned about consciously shifting your perception of how you're assembling reality. You're, you will start assembling reality in a very different way. Very different way. So this is functional stalking. Now remember the prerequisites because this stuff, if you're not careful, your self-importance will hijack and create such self-delusion, it will blow you away. It will, you know. <laughs> so remember those prerequisites. But this is a safe one. This, you know, this is a safe one. I have such a beautiful, empowering relationship with money. Oh my God, I have such a beautiful, empowering relationship with money. 365 days and come back and tell me in the comments that it didn't totally change your life. Totally. And not even 365 days. Within a week, few weeks, we're talking weeks here. It's effective. So this is a bit of a long video, video today. But stalking is a very involved subject. It has myriad forms and many different approaches but there's only one understanding of it which is let's recap it is a shifting of your perspective your assemblage point so that you are assembling reality totally di differently okay others are seeing your your reality you as a totally different th they are assembling you in a different way as well understand that it is not pretending, it is not play acting, it's not uh, role playing, it's not role playing. Understand that, that's not stalking in the classical Toltec sense of the word. The Toltec system isn't that shallow. Hmm? So, as usual, tell me in the comments what you think about what I've said. I have gained, I love stalking. I love because you need so much fluidity you know, all our routines and habits and, boog, 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 you know, robotic existence interferes with true stalking. That's why it's easier to just read a book and convince ourselves of all manner of things than actually take the time to become a fluid warrior with a high quality, high grade awareness that is vibrant, functional. And then you can stalk and shift perspectives like that. Boosh, bam, boom. Your self-importance get, doesn't get in the way. Your patterns don't stop you. You don't self-sabotage yourself. You're like someone on on uh, on, a, on on rollerblades. The road is you're just bzzz, bzzz, you're just sliding, right? So think about that that way. Leave in the comments what your thoughts are. Keep it mature. Keep your comments mature. You know, as far as I'm concerned, our comments do not say anything about what we're commenting about, but they say everything about who we are. 
Mm, interesting thought, huh? So keep it nice and civil. All of you guys are lovely. The comments I get 90% of the time are so lovely. They're, they really are beautiful. I love interacting with you all. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Walk in freedom.